the team has already been poring over old prison records. Before you can look for specific people. The first thing I research is homosexuality in that time. What gay people were known as, how they were dealt with. Sodomy was a criminal charge for sex acts that were deemed to be unnatural. It was used most often to imprison men who had sex with other men. This investigation started as a hunt for queer ghosts at a prison where a famous movie was shot. There must be a con like me in every prison in America. But all of a sudden, they are unearthing dozens of hidden stories of lost lives. No one's ever looked for this information before. No one's ever tried to specifically look for these people before. They were just lost. The team has discovered the cases of more than 80 young men imprisoned between 1886 and the 1940s. The average age was 21. There were kids as young as 14 in there. You know, they were, they were getting arrested for, for, you know, either just being in love or expressing their sexuality. And it was shameful. And, you know, it became public when they went to prison and they probably lost their family and their friends. And then they died in their young. That depresses me the most. The stigma of the crime could mean a violent death at the hands of inmates or guards. The stigma of the crime also meant that some of their bodies were not claimed by family. We have 200 and I think 19 graves out back. They died here and they've never left because no one ever claimed their bodies. So if you're wondering if one or two of them still may be here, absolutely. The, the, those are the stories that we want to connect with. We want them to know that it's okay and that um, it's a lot better now. But what about Michael, the entity who the team is in contact with? Ask him if he died here. Did you die in here? Were you killed here in this prison? Okay. I'm glad to hear that. Research reveals only one inmate in prison for sodomy who was named Michael. The year was 1942. He was 19 years old. We found a Michael convicted of sodomy in 1942, and that was the only one. Oh, wow. <laughs> three-digit number? Did your prison member have a three-digit number? It's a five-digit number. That part doesn't match. Did it start with a four? That part does match. It starts with a four. And there's more. So we know it's a three-digit number that began with something between zero and five. Could the entity be responding to the numbers Scott is saying, three and five? Those numbers would have been very important to this Michael. He was sent to prison on March 5th, 3, 5. What do you think? I don't know what to think, to be honest with you. That's, that's a little crazy. Well, it's a pretty good chance that's who it was, so... Could be. All right, can you straighten the other one out? We've got a lot more questions for you. Does it look like there's someone standing there? Yes, I'm seeing something moving like back and forth right there. It kind of looked like a little head and like a little shoulder. But... Is it another entity? Hundreds are believed to be haunting these walkways. All right, you still here? Whatever it is, the rods have suddenly stopped moving. You still here? Can you? Uh... Straighten them back. I think Michael left. I think he did. I was actually going to ask if that was a good sign or a bad sign uh, that Michael left so quickly. Um, it could be either. I mean, somebody could have shown up. Maybe a guard. 
if, if he was still talking, we would have tried to figure that out. Okay. We can just pick a new spot. Yeah. Okay. Um, it gets dark. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, he is not here anymore. But he might really have disappeared because the queer ghost hunters are asking too many questions. As they dig deeper into the records, they will discover a lot of secrets. Things that Michael probably wants to keep secret, even in the afterlife. Next, the team goes into the cells where queer prisoners were housed, wow. using the team leader as ghost bait. Now up the line. They make contact with their first transgender entity. Would you have changed your gender? 